All right, next up on the list is Shrewd. This guy, he's not too bad. It took me a little bit of learning. There's a specific combo that he does that's hard to evade, but I figured out the trick to it. But this is Shrewd. He's got elemental resist. He stands up on these platforms, shoots arrows at you, and then you basically bait him down into coming into to CQC. And that's really where I think he's the most dangerous. When he throws his bow like that, it's also a, like, a, like an axe, which is pretty cool. His design's really neat. That combo right there will mess you up. Where he does the three swings. He's got several different attacks in his repertoire. This one's annoying because the explosive um, arrows that he fires have a bit of an AoE to them. So if the first one hits you, you're probably going to get hit by the next one at least. Now, after you do enough damage to him, he's going to spawn these like acorns that fall down from the tree. If you don't pop them, then enemies will spawn out of them, sort of hatch out of them like eggs. So that combo there, as soon as he, he finishes it, he will run away. Goes back up on the uh, outcroppings and starts raining arrows down again. If you back up enough or you use the tree for cover, it will bait him into coming into CQC, which for me is where I'm going to do a lot of my damage because I'm playing uh, I'm playing a CQC build. So I've got the shotgun, got the sword. I've got extra um, close quarters damage as part of my build. So... Personally, I want to bait him off of that outcropping so he comes down closer so I can hit him with my, my slug shotgun. And then we pop these things, we're right back to it. So if you don't pop all of those, don't worry about it. You may have to multitask a little bit where you're dodging his arrows. And then you have to come and kill whatever was left behind. Now, every time that he spawns those, he's going to spawn more and more of them. So eventually it's going to get to the point where unless you have like fully automatic uh, weapons with deep reserves, you're probably not going to be able to pop them all. So I'm using a pistol and a shotgun, so for me that was a bit of a challenge, but not not too bad, honestly. So here you'll see there's more of them spawning than last time. So I pop as many of them as I can. Go ahead and reload my weapons after I do that, though. Take out the stragglers. So you'll hear an audio cue for when Shrewd respawns uh, after that acorn phase. And then it'll come in close, so you gotta be careful. Because that attack will mess you up. So what happened there was I didn't leave myself enough stamina to do three dodges like I need to do for that combo. And so then it kind of got me on my back foot and I was reeling a bit. But we recovered from it okay. So one of the things you do have to remember is when he comes in close, you got to have enough stamina to deal with his um, melee attacks. Because those do a ton of damage. A ton. So make sure you don't waste stamina on these little guys. Just take them out as quickly as possible. So you're just gonna rinse and repeat. It's really, as with most things with games like this, it's a test of stamina. It really is just a test of stamina and endurance. So you don't wanna rush anything, don't wanna get too reckless. Make sure you have enough stamina to deal with his attacks. Cause he, that's, I think that's the most challenging part of Shrewd is that a number of his attacks require a lot of stamina for successive dodges in order to not take damage. And that's really where he's gonna trip you up. So stamina management, I think is probably the most important part of this fight. That combo there will mess you up. And I wish he stuck around for a second after he does it so you could get you know, melee hit in or something, but he doesn't. As soon as he takes that third swing, he teleports away. And here I thought I had him dead. I, I see like nothing on the health bar. If he had connected with that combo, I, I would have been dead. At this point, I know that if I shoot him once or twice, he's going to be dead. So I'm not even going to focus on killing these little guys. I just take out as many of these acorns as I can in the moment. But now I'm just focused on him and only him. Boom. And it's done. I think this guy would actually be easier if you're not playing on Challenger. If you're playing on something that, that can utilize long-range weapons. But the material you get from him, you can take back um, and craft a mod for your weapon that makes it so you can shoot like a toxic needle that like embeds in them and then detonates. And when it detonates, it does big damage and also creates like a poison gas cloud. So there you have it. That's shrewd. Hope you found that helpful. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.